All right. Well, uh, straight out to TMZ's Mike Walters. Mike, I've been looking at this lawsuit. The plaintiff's lawyer says people are lining up that there are other accusers ready to come forward. But uh, Marty Singer, the powerhouse lawyer for John Travolta, says it's absurd and ridiculous. Oh, what's the latest? Well, Jane, the latest is John Travolta is stacking up the evidence that this is not a true story. The first thing he did was we got a hold of those photographs. Now, the photographs are in a New York City hotel room. They're taken as a part of costume design for the new movie that he's doing, which started, uh, he started in New York and then went to Atlanta. The photos are taken at 4.30 p.m. and 5.21 p.m. on the day, January 16th, that allegedly he was here in Beverly Hills with this masseur. The problem is there's no possible way if that happened at 10 a.m., he would be able to fly to New York and be able to take these photographs in that hotel. The second thing is we were able to get a receipt from Mr. Chow in New York showing that he was in New York that day having dinner, $382 bill with a $100 tip. So there's the second piece of evidence. Now, we don't really know what happened, Jane, obviously, but what we can do is look at the evidence. And we do in all the court cases that we work on together. So, so far, John Travolta's got evidence. So far, I have not seen anything from the other side showing any proof that John Travolta did any of this. And we're just going to have to wait and see what happens.